completely finish a piece, we need to go through three stages. Analyzing, learning and rehearsing. And the last rehearsing stage is the most important one, because no matter how correctly we imagine and play the piece on the first stage of analysis, how patiently we repeated the piece on the second learning stage, we still need time and experience to let all the new sensations become solid and strong enough to let us be confident and free in the performance. As we know, artistry is a special filter that we apply to enhance everything we want to convey through playing, to enhance our energy and protect us from destructive energy of audience, to completely control the instrument and start speaking confidently and openly even in a cold, scary concert hall. And artistry, just like any other sensations, have to be built up. Any new sensations are always very gentle and fragile, and we need to gradually let them become stronger. That's why, if we throw ourselves to an important performance without any preparation right after the second stage of learning the piece, we would be lost, shocked, frozen, constrained, and feel so, so small. No matter how well the piece was learned, we will lose control about everything that we practiced before. On contrary, if we gradually build up the stamina of sensations and artistry energy becomes solid enough, then very blurry and unsure feeling would be transformed to confident, strong and effortless playing. There are a couple of reasons why we used to consider rehearsing stage less important than practicing stage. Firstly, because of the frustrating and painful memories from past failures at the recitals, we would be still afraid to perform and that would make us want to perform as little as possible. And because nobody really taught us how to do it, we didn't have much desire to figure it out on our own. Now it's time we change our own beliefs about performing on the stage and become our own managers. There are three levels on the stage, from easiest to the most challenging one, and it takes at least one month to pass these levels. You should move to the next level only after you feel released and excited about your performance, because you could sustain artistry and control your playing. Do not move to more advanced level if you have not conquered the previous one. Play a few times on every step of every level. First times you would notice that your artistry shield is not strong enough, you don't have an endurance, you're losing yourself and frozen energy is still controlling you. But take it easy and continue playing over and over again, and eventually you will notice that your stamina is solid enough to remain artistry and speak confidently and effortlessly. And that's the moment where you know you have conquered your audience. To keep it interesting, I suggest you to find the final goal, a deadline that could be in competition, an audience or an important performance, and then build up all the levels of the rehearsing stage towards that performance. I personally consider competitions as a top challenging thing, because the pressure from the energy of audience and jury is extremely high. They are not listening to you with an open heart, judging you instead, and the pressure of those negative thoughts, intentions and energy is so strong that you need to have an iron stamina of artistry to conquer it. And that's why you're going to have a rehearsing of the program to gradually build up an endurance in your energy muscles. This is what you need to prepare before starting your rehearsing stage. The deadline of your goal performance, the list of the audience starting from friendly people, ending with those who scare you the most, it could be family members, friends, colleagues, students, teachers. The list of venues starting from small and ending with big ones, it could be your home, your friend's home, a classroom at school you're studying or teaching at, local libraries or churches, Stanway or Yamaha recital rooms, street pianos, pianos at the airports, and even at big malls. And approximate dates, audience, and venues for performances for all three levels. Each level should have its own audience and venue, from easiest to the most challenging ones, to help you build strength and stamina of your energy. On the first level, your audience is your camera and a single person at a time. You can make a home recital, ask your family member or a student to listen to you. Make a performance at your friend's place, simply ask to come over and play. Make a rehearsal at your work-study classroom, ask your classmate 
or your own student or a colleague to listen to you. Or simply have a lesson with your teacher. On the second level, your audience is up to 5 people, then 10, then 20 people. Of course, always approximate. You can make a party in a chill style at your home place, gathering your students and friends. You can book a recital room at Stanway or Yamaha Piano Gallery, or library, or church. You can gather people from online. A very good way is to open your local meetup group on the website meetup.com, invite people and post an event, or simply join other local pianist meetups. You can explore free pianos on the streets and the airports and malls. Search for any street piano, there are usually a few of them in every city. They are on the streets, sometimes at the airports and malls. Personally, that's my favorite way as I can always feel much more freedom in the open air and much less pressure. On the last level, your audience is more than 20 people. There are very little chances you could organize a full solo recital for you on the stage, but even getting an opportunity to perform with one single piece from your program is very valuable. You can participate at any musical events. Um, for instance, you can enroll in Stanway or Yamaha performance events. Just come down to their main office with your portfolio and video and just let them know that you're ready to participate in any events. You can enroll into festivals and masterclasses. Um, you could take a part at a summer piano schools or masterclasses, for instance. And always remember, more people you know, more connections and opportunities you will have to be invited. Rehearsing stage is the most important stage in your piano practicing. Always keep in mind to give yourself, if possible, a couple of months to rehearse your program before going on the stage to perform at your best.